the Steam Thrasher, the Lawn Mower Weapon, spinning around, killing everything in sight. I featured this a long time ago on the channel in a video showing off anti Cuddle Sarah and what she can do, and it seems like most people didn't see that. I even featured it in a Best Perks, and yet I still get requests to show this weapon. So, in a recent video on the channel, link to all these down below, by the way, I showed off my favorite melee loadout in Fortnite Save the World. That is a video featuring the Stormblade and its many crit hits cause an explosion. Boom! Super satisfying weapon. Weapon, but I said if a comment gets over 200 likes, then I will run the Steam Thrasher. And wow, that uh, that definitely happened. So here's the build. This is what I'm going with. I am no Steam Thrasher expert. This is not my main way of playing. I don't love that build because it's very contingent on energy, as you'll see. But this actually performed really well. I tried this on stream once. Twitch link down below if you guys ever want to hang out while I'm testing stuff. This is the build we got. Crit rate and crit damage. Heavy attack efficiency. I do think that matters. Water because we're in a fire zone. Double flip. I think that's also the way to go on that as well. Cloud of Steam, super good. I might try that if this video, you know, if I have enough fun and I want to run this twice in this video, I might run that Steam perk because that's the second best option in my opinion. The Steam damage is a lot. I checked out the Double Boiler recently. Another link to that video down below and the Steam carries a lot of damage. So we actually are pretty much using the exact same video that I showed in my favorite loadout. So White Fiona in the lead, giving us a 60% chance to crit. Totally Rocking Out, giving us even better chances to crit. Battle Beat and Fumble, because we'll be killing lots of enemies monster smash to heal us which will be essential then we've got corrosive strikes for some extra damage and all we need to to make this build work is anti cuddle sarah support she just gives you energy on eliminations which is enough so long as you have enemies in front of you it's not constant energy generation so fossil southie could actually be something that you could add to this build now you really don't spend a lot of time with shields so even though he's only when your shield is depleted you're not gonna have shields that often with a melee build so he might be fine even without blast in the past but regardless, this is the build I want to start with. So yeah, let's just hop straight into the game and uh, check it out. So the first thing I'm doing in this video is grabbing two blue glow and the energy pylon is activated. So that'll just give me 20 extra energy. It won't be a massive difference, I don't think, but it'll certainly help. All right, here we go. Got a nice little encampment, energy pylon activated, and you can see the absolute carnage of this weapon. This is where I can fully understand why so many people tell me to use this thing. That entire encampment just got completely deleted. There were nearby enemies even but this is the part that i don't like is when they're a bit more spread out just like this you could see i burn all my energy just moving or i have to stop my attack and then start it the normal attack is too slow to do much so it's really best with a crowd of enemies Here's a nice little example. So we got a good crowd of enemies right here. You know, we can just swing just a few times and murder everything. Super easy. Barely used any energy because I generated all right back. And then a big target gives me no energy in return, but dies plenty fast so long as we have the reserves. So here we got a nice crowd of enemies. Should be an easy knockout, but they're invincible in this location for some reason. What is going on? So I already cut a clip from this video where this exact crowd of enemies just would not die and then now they will what why was that so difficult well regardless they're going down easily now wait no it's the the fatty it's invincible what is happening what am i missing ah okay all right i'm running away these guys are scary all right here we got a challenge we've got a riot husky we've got nurses we've got the storm damage we've got a uh, a, a smasher right here. I just want to make sure the Riot Husky dies. All right, I'm going to Adrenaline Rush just to heal. See if we could do anything to this smasher. Really good damage, by the way. Like, honestly, if you have enough energy on hand, those big targets go down super quick. Oh, no, another crowd of enemies. It's like mowing the lawn. It is like, it's not even really a joke calling this a lawnmower build. I know I'm uh, kind of wasting my energy here, but like, look at this damage. As long as, even without the spin. I know my teammates are kind of helping, but... Really, honestly, a very powerful weapon. All right, so I am building up the perfect moment. I'm just getting all these basic enemies together. We got Emerald cheering bits in chat. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just just dead. They're all completely dead. I want to keep spinning to kill everything else, but there's nothing else. They're all gone. Look at this defense location. We've got a cliff right here with a single ramp, and then we've got spawns down here who can only go up this ramp here this is beautiful if i'm showcasing a melee like this 
Two major choke points for the defense is like a dream scenario. Let's just get this started. All right, the defense begins. Let's see exactly where these enemies are going. Some are tracking towards that direction. I'm not sure what their ultimate plan is, but then we've got this slope right here. I think this will be the place to hang out. Oh yeah. So we get a bunch of kills, activate Toy Rockin' Out, take out the Mist Monster comfortably. I stopped spinning, but I don't even think I needed to. And then we're doing the ASMR. Okay, so there's ASMR kind of a tricky situation where the people watching the stream like to play stream loots cards. All right, so the situation is this. You can buy these stream loots packs, and it makes me do little challenges or random little things that happen during the streams. And I don't really know exactly how to handle it when people redeem these in the middle of a video. It makes it really strange because the momentum of my recording gets completely annihilated. However, I'm just going to leave it because you're watching a very weird YouTuber. I don't really follow a lot of the norms i don't think so we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna hang out slash some enemies and uh for 69 seconds nice i typed in that value myself by the way in case you were confused about that um we're just gonna chill out for a second and this is just beautiful look at that that affliction damage taking out the riot husky riot huskies are definitely a problem you could probably just ping them once and like the the the, the damage the damage from melees are so crazy that you, they just die just die just like that i got an adrenaline rush because i'm not really paying attention to my health we're taking damage that's not a big not a big deal we can just head up here and take care of it right now oh no is that a 250 smasher it's dead it's taken care of just like that they are t totally breaking in over here and just annihilating everything i told my teammates to put traps down as necessary they know i'm recording a video and that i'm not going to be able to kill everything but it looks as though that advice was not followed so let's just get this down right here get this over here and here there we go put a couple of defenses traps around here so that if something blows up it's not a big deal maybe i can start spinning here to activate uh, totally rock it out okay i don't want that to go down i know i'm building with wood that's not exactly ideal let's do the right click not the not the left click okay yeah the right huskies are definitely a problem and i got very lucky with the way that they just spun right there and now we can actually get some damage done all right there we go yeah just come down here perfect 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 oh yeah this is exactly what i want to see Okay, so we ran out of energy. That's fine. We can just wait a second. Listen to the Jigglypuffs. Okay, we need to get an elimination to actually start the trend. And this specifically is why I don't usually run these builds. This is a perfect time to mention this because I really like a consistent melee build. I don't want to have to kill a crowd of enemies just to get started. What is that sound? And I... um. I don't like that I can't really do anything. I'm looking at a smasher and I'm just struggling to do any damage at all because I'm, you know, not getting enough kills to actually activate the energy. That's where Southie, again, might be a better alternative for consistency. You can see I have no energy, so I just can't really get the train running. Uh, let's just do that so that he kills himself with that propane. There we go. And uh, maybe we can get this uh, trend started again. Maybe I can kill these guys with my normal attacks just to activate a little bit of energy. There we go. So this is where the pylon actually is probably helping a lot, giving me a high base starting at least. No, I'm not doing that. All right, so stream loots is really fun for the stream, but I am not going to sit here silently in the middle of a YouTube video. He will get his card back. I am not going to waste his money, but that can be redeemed at a different point when I'm just streaming. If you guys ever want to check out the stream, Twitch link down below, of course. We have a lot of fun. I'm a little split on how much the uh, stream loots cards should be allowed to interact with the stream or the videos because the YouTube videos that I record on stream are a different animal. Um... I'm also a little bit split on whether or not I should have uh, alerts in these videos, but it's usually not a big deal. My chat's been a little crazy recently, all right? The primal weapons just came out, and here I am breaking my Steam Thrasher, so uh, it's, it's a little bit of a different terrain. So let's just craft a new copy and get right back into it. All right, we got a new copy. We got a new crowd of enemies all lined up for us. That pylon coming into play, giving me a good starting point. Oh, this is beautiful. This is great. I don't know if the mini boss is going to be anything I can interact with. Uh, it it really depends on the element and the modifier if it's trap vulnerable obviously i'm going to be useless and if it has a ton of health with like tank or something obviously i'm going to be useless this build requires energy to do as much damage as it can and i'm not going to really be getting any of that from a mini boss so we'll see we'll see mini bosses spawn on wave 10 by the way if you guys didn't know if you're ever playing retrieve the data that's the round you want to look out for so uh yeah, maybe I can drop a smoke bomb for these guys. You know, I thought the new 
prickly hero would actually oh perfect oh no it's no wait hold on it looked like it was nature yeah see this is this is perfect minus the ride husky if i can just get a nice crowd of enemies around me just fueling energy while i rotate on the mini boss that's like the best situation unfortunately the enemies uh that i'm fueling energy off of die a lot quicker than the mini boss so it's really hard to get some consistent damage out that's where i'm gonna have to switch and i think there's no shame in just switching to a nice little ravager just like this we do have uh, White Elf Fiona in the lead, so we're going to be critting very often. You can see nice big damage from that, good heavy attack, 2 million damage, like it's nothing. 2 million damage! A lot of people make the mistake of uh, using like the pot shot versus mini bosses like this, but smoke screen is going to reduce your range weapon damage significantly, so it's uh, really not worth it to do that. Thank you for the re revive teammate. There we go. See, again, Wrath, not going to do anything to a mini boss that's smoke screen. This person is just burning their energy ammo. They should really be using an SM uh, not an SMG, a, a, uh, a sword. <laughs> a sword like the Ravager is the way to go. I keep this one physical on me at all times, specifically for mini bosses, because of the fact that the mini bosses that are smoke screen never have an element. So physical is going to do the most damage and it's going to be completely fine. I'm assuming, of course, that I can actually stay alive. There's a very hostile mission. It's a knockback mini boss on a slope with fire enemies all around me it's a massive mess but now that it's out of the way i can start spinning away and it just does so much this is a really really satisfying weapon and uh, i can understand why so many people enjoy using it it's not my play style the lack of consistency is just something i cannot get over but when it's active it is active look at this just Spinning, 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 spinning. Taking out a, a smasher a lot slower than I'd prefer, granted. It's still alive somehow, but oh, it is a really fun build to use. And uh, if you're running an encampments mission where there are always tons of enemies, this build is super satisfying. And it makes me want to try it out with Fossil Southie. I don't know if I'm going to do a part two on this. I, th I think I'm leaning towards it because I want to just try out Fossil Southie. You know, in the lead, it wouldn't make sense because he's not exactly a ninja. But in support, it would maybe help a lot like you can see i have no shield as mentioned when you're running in the storm always getting attacked by enemies you're never gonna have shield all the time so it just doesn't even make sense that that would be a problem so i think fossil southian support could be the way to go and i think i'm gonna go set up that build now so we're gonna go with a slightly modified build in the second half of this video i'm gonna be running assassin sarah in the lead just for some extra damage i don't know if that's better than whiteout fiona it's probably not a big deal totally rocking out will give us plenty of crit ratings so maybe it'll be fine then we've got fossil southie as mentioned now fall in love ranger josie would give you six energy per kill but the whole point of fossil southie is that you can generate a little bit of extra energy when the enemies run out so he can get you refilling while you're finding a new horde so yeah i don't know if this is completely optimal but i think it's good enough to try it out so i'm just gonna hop right back in and give it a go all right we don't quite have the energy pylon active yet but we're critting 43 percent of the time instead of 60 so slightly less often but we're doing an obviously considerable amount of damage a little ben's war cry in chat yeah that is crazy strong i don't know if she's like the better pick yet but that was a pretty good start granted these are probably like 160 enemies compared to 250 so that might be affecting my judgment i think we just went down 90 power levels until the mission starts we won't get the max but pretty good there we go nice big encampment uh the big encampments will definitely give me 250 power levels so let's uh, hopefully kill him before he goes okay all right we actually got him not too bad you can see with my shield gone as usual my energy is just always maxed out always maxed out i got a little bit of a lull in enemies here and it's actually doing really well like this is really 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 slow energy loss that lasted a long time and affliction cleaning up the nurse i think i like fossil southie crosa strikes is kind of a lot to lose but doing fine without her another casual encampment for you here we go let's see what we can do here oh these are 250 power level i'll bet they were 250 power level four as well so maybe i was right to be impressed because this weapon is clearly shredding you can see shield down all this energy is allowing me to just keep moving forward obviously i'm taking more damage than i can heal off because the healing from this build comes from arlene isa as soon as the enemies dry up so does my health bar all right here we go nice crowd of enemies no traps in this point of the map so that's actually perfect look at this just destroy everything i don't know if i prefer white elf fiona over this i actually really like assassin sarah she's doing a great job like that is a lot of damage very consistently applied 
This is uh, actually pretty good. Single target, a little bit tricky. It's a slow animation to kill them all, but nice crowd of enemies like this. Easy lawnmower, easy lawnmower. Everything's dead, <laughs> just like that. And uh, this bush is messing up a lot. So I'm gonna do this. This is the most expensive way to get rid of a bush, by the way. Uh, the uh, obliterator does this for one heavy bullet, but I wanted to kill the enemies at the same time. So I'm, I'm doing it that way. Uh, I don't recommend doing that, by the way. That is the most expensive way to take care of that. So we got enemies over there and enemies right here. I'm not sure which side I wanna focus on. I'm just, I'm split in so many directions. It's okay, we got the uh, tar pits and decoy. Oh yeah, just go through everything. I'm not even gonna worry about KOing as I go because um, I think the affliction damage will take care of them in my wake. This is amazing. Like this is exactly what I was thinking. So there was a situation where people were recommending like extraterrestrial Rio for the extra 20% energy damage in that Stormblade build. And in testing, it just did not work. It was a complete flop because when you're running a melee build, no matter how much healing you have, typically it's the green health that you're worried about. So having any hero based on having shield will do nothing as you will. Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Uh, will do nothing because you will never have shield when you're running a melee. And that's just exactly what I'm seeing here. But the energy generation is so good. That is so satisfying. Obviously, the smashers are shutting me down. This is a normal crowds of enemies weapon, and the riot huskies are just bullying me. This is really, really tough. Okay, these, these girls over here, they need to die. Yeah, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. So this is tricky. I can shave off the first wave of enemies here, but with the Riot Husky and the Smasher right here, I think I'm just gonna shoot the Discharger. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Like obviously in a showcase video, I don't wanna shoot the Discharger too much, but as a regular player, I highly recommend running this build with the Discharger on hand. The Discharger, the Pot Shot, any kind of big single target weapon the, to take care of the, the Smashers because this build is not very good against Smashers. You need a lot of help to take it down. Like you need an ever flowing crowd of enemies giving you tons and tons of, oh, that Discord sound totally got me. Stream viewers are really messing with us today. Uh, you need an endless flow of enemies to fuel that Smasher's death. And that's just not something that happens that often. So yeah, taking out the beehives is pretty good though. I'm kind of digging that. This is amazing. Like this, this is the dream scenario right here. Right on their spawn, tons of enemies coming in right as I'm killing them. Can work my way right back up the slope. They're tracking to me, it's beautiful. I can stop for a second just while I generate energy pretty casually. In fact, it looks like the party is now over here. I'm gonna let them pass into the traps so that I can just get started right here. Take out the nurse, the flinger. That's not a nurse, there we go. Oh, it's great. This is perfect. Do a little 360 just to grab that enemy on the way out and they're all taken care of. Like if you set up your build appropriately, I mean like walls, you are essentially a trap tunnel. Like if you uh, funnel, which I haven't done in this case because the natural spawning situation here is already in my favor. So I didn't really need to do anything. Thank you, teammate. Um, if you can set it up in your favor like this, uh, build if you need to, or just get lucky like I did, you are a trap tunnel. It's it's beautiful. And I stopped attacking there, so I died. Beehives and Storm are very, very lethal. And any build, even the Stormblade build, the one that I keep praising, is going to be... Like, if you're healing off of Arleniza, you are going to be reliant on enemies healing you. And when the enemies run out, you die. Oh, yeah, I'm going back in. The storm's shifting, but I don't care. I'm just going to clean these up as I go. It's funny. Like, you are truly a lawnmower. Like, I know a lot of people say funny things, but it is really similar to that experience. There's another smasher just winning. Yeah, that big jumping attack where he slams the ground just totally stops your spin. I got lucky in that case, but it's uh, really, really tough to deal with smashers, except the uh, discharger doesn't care at all. Look at that. Oh, he's running right into it. <laughs> he went down with no problem. Fun little factoid, by the way. If you guys have ever wondered why your discharger sometimes does zero damage to a mini boss, it's because... Uh, the hitbox size matters a lot. Smashers are unusually weak to the Discharger. They go down super quickly, whereas normal mini bosses just don't. Ooh, I'm gonna just get out of his path. There we go. Tar Pits being amazing and the Discharger being OP. What kind of mini boss do we have? We've got, I can't tell, Water, Corrosive Shield of Vampiric. Okay. So Water is gonna be 67% of my normal damage. That's a third of my damage right off the top. And. I don't think I'm going to be able to help much. And he already disappeared. <laughs> He's over here. So, yeah. You can see the affliction damage doing some work, but... Yeah. I think we already know that this isn't exactly a mist monster killer. So, I'm going to shoot the Discharger and show how it's uh, not even... Oh, man. It's at least slowing the Smasher. God, the Discharger is so good. <laughs> and you can see the damage is kind of not great against a single... Like, you see? Like, 600,000. That's cool. 
and then some more, and then some more. You know, like, it just doesn't attack nearly as fast as you'd expect, which is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, it's okay. A little decoy action there. Maybe I can just spin around all these enemies, soak up all that energy, doing some extra damage. Teammates are definitely doing the, the bulk of the damage to the mini boss in this instance, but thank you, teammates. Good teammates. You know, mini bosses should always be teamwork. I've said this many times before. Like, I like to showcase a weapon's mini boss damage if they'll let me, but when it's clear that I can't solo it, I have no problem with people in my team helping out with the mini boss because in a real game that's exactly what you do it should be a teamwork situation taking out wow <laughs> it should be a teamwork situation taking out the mini boss that is so satisfying okay I know, I know i know it's not like a discharger showcase video but like that's pretty satisfying huh i think that's a good place to call it two loadouts with the steam thrasher super fun weapon i'm sorry that i well okay, okay you know what no scratch that i was gonna apologize for not showing it the love you guys have always wanted me to but i did i made the uh anti cuddle sarah video i made the steam thrasher best perks i've i think i've said good things about it in melee videos maybe not i've always been a little against this build because like i said it's very limited with single target damage it's highly reliant on having energy it's uh it's a gimmick build this is not a top meta pick in my opinion but you can see it obviously slays if you can set it up properly and get a good build around it uh, i showed you two of them here today you could do some excellent damage and have a great time obviously if i have supercharged my lead more it's only one supercharger on her I would have a lot more health and shield, which obviously shield would make no difference, but health would be a little bit nice. So I could have also gotten the shield and health pylons. Like there are a lot of things you can do if you really want to make this build work and uh, work it will. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out the recent videos on the channel. Check out the recommended video at the end. Subscribe if you're new and I'll uh, see you in the next one. <laughs> and then...